Uh, I was born in West Virginia, and um, West Virginia is a very hilly area, the place we lived in, and uh, we were getting a mattress for our home, and he had a mattress in the trunk, and what, when we were going up the hill, I was asking my father if it was going to topple backwards, uh, so he was very surprised that I asked this at such a young age, because I was already thinking about uh, physics and how the car is supposed to go. I remember when I was little, we have a backyard that has a lot of trees in it. Um, I would always like going outside and I would I would look at the plants and the insects were, were my two favorite things. And I, I made this like potion book. I, I would collect all these different weeds and um, there would be like little white flowers, little pink flowers, and then bigger like grass stems or something. And then I would, you know, make a catalog of all of them in my potion book and then say that if you mix these together, you know, it's going to make something that will put you to sleep or something like that. I always loved space. Even when I was a kid, I always wanted to be an astronomer. Never an astronaut. I'm not the exploring type, the astronomer. And so I was always very intrigued by the idea of life on other planets, life in the universe. I had this book when I was a kid. Um, it, it was called Just the Big Dipper, and it was, uh, it was a book about um, common constellations and asterisms that are visible in the northern hemisphere. So the first day that I got it, I made my mom come outside with me, and it was, it was in December, so it was cold, and I made her try to spot all the constellations and stars that they were talking about in the book. So, uh, coolest thing you've seen? Coolest thing I've seen is probably um, there's a project about asparagus and how it uh, how it helps prevent cancer over there. Um, and I just found it really cool because she's a very young student doing like Western blots, uh, which is like probably PhD quality. By definition, the creation yeah, yeah. of we pose questions that people don't know the answer to, and then find the answer to. But at the same time, it's very important to build off of um, what other people do because a lot of people have had the same or same or similar questions that we have had, uh, and in many cases, they've already been answered. So um, before you pose questions that you think may not be answered to, there might already be an answer, and then you can ask another question. So. Uh, we definitely still have to learn a lot from our elders and uh, the research that has been done before us, but at the same time, this should only push us uh, farther forward in discovering new things. I came to the conclusion that well, basically girls see themselves as different from boys in the classroom. And the only way to combat that is for girls to not feel different from boys, not just in the classroom, but outside the classroom. It's the societal pressures that we face and the way that society views the differences between men and women that kind of transcends the classroom walls and makes us think that we can't do it in the classroom. And so I think we should definitely work on, you know, de-emphasizing things like outward appearance, etc. And kind of work to empower girls and tell them that they can do whatever they want. Teachers also make a big difference. I think more opportunities need to be around, kind of like, I mean, part of the mission of this trip is to get people from all over a place from different educational like backgrounds um, and resource backgrounds to have an opportunity to pursue this kind of thing and even you know like imagine that I could be doing research as a high school and that's a that's a very far out concept depending on where you come from um, so I think it's really important to be developing programs and ways to get more people involved from a more diverse like, background set I guess Hi, Hi, friends back in America. Say thank you to Sam at the Thank you, Sam. Education <laughs> Center. You're the best. <laughs>